I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear and today we're going to fix an issue that probably many of you have and maybe didn't know you had. Um, I got this chest freezer, I don't know, a while ago. When I started raising quail that's when I got it. Um, but I got this chest freezer, it's a very small one, I think it's like seven and a half cubic feet or something like that. But when I got it, it's a big surface in the house and you are not supposed to put anything on top of freezers and you're not supposed to have anything blocking within six inches all the way around. So that's at least what came with this, the instructions that came with this freezer. So um, it's a surface and it's in my house. So guess what's gonna happen? Yeah, it's, things are gonna get put on it. And things were put on it. <laughs> and so I decided that um, instead of not following the rules and not having the freezer that, um, you know, not following the rules of the freezer, that I was going to make something so that I could still put something on this surface without putting it on this on the freezer. So as you see, I have floor space to the left and in front is not an issue. And then to the right is not an issue. We also have space to the back. So that's not an issue, it's just the top part. So I decided to make a table, a movable table that you can still put stuff in on the surface in this space, but not onto the freezer. So follow along as, we sh as I show you how to build that. So this is a table that my mom found for $20? Yeah. We were gonna make one, but it just wasn't happening, and so um, this is going to be a table that goes over the freezer. Um, are you having to drill that hole bigger? Mm -hmm. Are you drill this hole works? Yeah. So we got some dowels. Can I take it? Yeah. We got some little dowels. Um, they're called. What are they called? They're called something. And uh, got these at Harbor Freight, and these just go into the hole. The hole that's there had the little pad that um, you know makes it not screech when you move the table, and it fits well. We're just going to use some um, some wood glue to glue it together, and so he's going to take a drill and drill a hole in this end. We needed to make the table taller in order to fit over the the freezer. So the reasoning for this is to um, make a hole. So you want to show show them what you're doing. So this piece of tape goes on to to get the depth, and so he knows if he's uh, drilled in this far, he can stop. You don't have to make it go all the way into the wood. So what this is doing this is just two by two, actually that I got it for free, and we're just extending the height of the table, and we're going to put casters on the ends like this. Did you measure to see if the casters fit? They kind of fit. They kind of don't. I think we're going to have to add a little little piece of wood there. These are my casters. Oh, those These are your are casters. Not. Okay, never mind. Your casters are here. Do they fit? If you open it, maybe. What? Look a little funny? I got it straight on this side, but not on this side. Yeah. Do you need to turn it upside down? 
No, I think she'll be okay. I think a little, a little off. Little wouldn't, character. Wouldn't, we, we don't, we don't mind it. So these are going to be glued with wood glue. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> Once they're good, you got you got them to match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best carpenter ever. But it fits. That's what matters. That's what matters mo most. Okay, so glue goes on both sides and the dowel goes in. That's plenty. with gusto <laughs> that didn't get in the shot because they have it zoomed in <laughs> oh. so this is just masking tape he's holding it in place which I don't really have to do that but you don't have it, to? I don't know well, it, it doesn't it hurt it needs to be clamped it that's true I guess that's a way to clamp it huh needs to stick because it's tape? No, it needs to stick because it needs to be by itself. Alright, so that has to dry for 24 hours before you do anything? So you've pre-marked where the, no, this is the old one, right? Yeah, I pre-marked where the, the screws for the wheels are going to. But you, so you're going to use the small ones after all? Yeah. Okay. Are they pre-drilled? No. Just marked? Okay. Yeah. I don't have the screws, so I cannot. Oh, that's do true. It right now. They didn't come with screws today. That's silly. Yep. Yeah. So these casters did not come with screws. Go ahead. Just, you're screwing it in, and it looks like it just barely fits. So you're angling them, right? A little bit? Yep. Yeah. So it's angling just a little bit to make sure that he doesn't. Uh, with the drill bit to make sure that he doesn't crack the wood and that it actually holds. It's probably good. 
So once those are on, um, what the next step is the crossbar. Okay. And we'll uh, count. I think the crossbar will be later. After it's up, we can do it later. Yeah, yeah, because okay. I don't have that right now, so we okay. can add it later. Okay. I think she'll be strong enough. So I, I was trying to peel off the the glue from from the edges, and it's 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 hard. <laughs> So. We might not need it then, huh? Uh, we may not need it, but I think we'll, we'll be better to add it if okay. we're moving it a lot. Yeah, I think we're going to be moving it, it a lot. It will be safer. So what we're talking about is to have a beam that goes from here to the other side. And that would be right at this seam here of the, of the wood, just to give it some extra strength. On the short sides. Okay, so he's gonna do that on all four corners, and um, So I had gotten some bigger casters, but they wouldn't have fit on here. We'd have to add a block um, to make it wider. And he thinks this is gonna be good enough to support this, so we'll see. See what happens. These ones don't have brakes, right? Yeah. The, the other ones that I got had brakes, but we're not going to be driving it too fast. <laughs> no. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It's going to look like that on all the corners. And we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here's what that table looks like. Um, as you saw when we built it, we added some height onto it and added casters. So now it's super easy. You just pull it out. And... Now it's away from the freezer. I can squeeze in and I can get to whatever's in the freezer. Now something else I can do is I can have this counter space and also reach our jars. So we also just recently put in this shelf. Um, and so this is not all of our canned foods. This is just meats and broths at this point. And then on this side, just some, some general pantry kitchen stuff that we use quite a bit. So I can reach both of these really, really easy if I just move the table out of the way. Plus, our garbage can and recycling is on this side as well, providing enough space around the freezer, and it's a really good, good use of space. So this just then rolls right back. And it's really easy to move. really easy to maneuver. So there you go. Um, I guess I should show you down low. So so when this rolls in and out, we have, here's the table, here's the, the additional height that we added, and then here's the caster. We may or may not um, add a board that goes from here backwards, um, connecting these. Uh, We'll figure that out later. If we need that, we'll do it. And if we don't, we won't. But this just rolls out. And it's really easy. And then you can just roll it back in. I hope you're able to build something similar to this. We were going to build the table itself, but time was getting in the way. And... Um, found a good deal for $20. So um, if you want to build a table, build a table. If you find a table, that's fine. Um, we have a gap underneath between the top of the freezer and the bottom of the table um, to follow the rules of the, of the freezer people. <laughs> and also just to have some clearance to move back and forth. And it's been working great. It's really easy to get in and out, and um, I hope you're able to do the same thing. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share with someone who might enjoy it. Thank you.